In the 1950s, the American automotive industry was thriving, with manufacturers pushing the boundaries of innovation. One such project was the development of gas turbine engines for automobiles at General Motors, led by Emmett Conklin, a seasoned General Motors employee with a passion for engineering. After the Second World War, General Motors resumed the turbine research program, with Conklin overseeing the creation of America's first functional gas turbine car, the Firebird One. Designed by Harley Jefferson Earl, the car resembled a fighter jet, made entirely of fiberglass reinforced plastic. The bodywork was inspired by a Douglas F 4D Skyray fighter jet, featuring small delta wings a tail fin, and a bubble canopy covering a single-seat cockpit. The car's groundbreaking power plant, the Whirlfire Turbo Power, was a two-part turbine engine that produced 370 horsepower and a theoretical top speed of 200 miles per hour. The car's impressive performance required a capable braking system, so engineers installed 11-inch brake drums and split brake flaps on the wing's edges. The Firebird 1 was deemed too intimidating for most, with only Emmett Conklin and three-time Indy 500 winner Maury Rose qualified to test it. However, General Motors eventually banned high-speed runs, so the car's top speed was never reached. The Firebird One XP-21 was among the first cars to use a gas turbine engine, paving the way for three more General Motors prototypes in the 1950s. It made its public debut at the 1954 Motorama and was used as a promotional vehicle for General Motors. The car is now on display at the General Motors Heritage Center in Sterling Heights, Michigan, with a miniature version topping the Harley Earl Trophy awarded to the Daytona 500 winner.